Okay, the Piscean Seer, and this is a collective reading, okay? Um, I'm listening to Eternal, and he's talking about what side niggas and side chicks can't do, so, you know, that's a note for someone. I don't know what spirit is going to talk about, okay? I just um, got this new deck, okay? I did an unboxing video, low-key, and I did a little, like, four-card pool, so now I got to do my regular videos for the day and um, I'm going to use these as overall energy. So like and subscribe if you get anything out of this or even if you don't, okay, just help me out. Put me in the algorithm one time, okay? And um, if you want to contribute to the channel, then you can go down to the description box. I don't know why I can't ever say that, but it's too early to be worried about it. <laughs> go down to the description box. Okay, my Amazon wishlist link is down there. And if you want a personal reading, my am I mean my email is down there, okay? You can just email me and I'll get back to you with the details ASAP. Oh. <laughs> oh, thank you, God, Archangels, Ancestors, Ascended Masters. And cosmic family, all things of light only. You're welcome into this reading. Please give a Pisces and see your collective the best and most accurate information for them at this time. Okay, well, well, <laughs> that was fast, wasn't it? All right. So we got. Archangel jewels align with the highest, go with the flow. I love that. Look at the water. Like I said, I just opened this, okay, like two minutes ago on another video. <laughs> so I love it. I've got my little thing up here. I'll be sitting cards up against. I don't know. I just got up like. <laughs> I woke up to my alarm that spirit had me set last night and then I just stared in the cabinet for like 30 minutes like what am I finna put on? <sighs> How am I finna do this hair because I, it's Saturday, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so Archangel Christine, accept the Christ light, act with wisdom and loving compassion. Let's see. And I'm gonna read them out of the book. Excuse me, okay. I woke up all congested like I do every day. Uh -huh. I'm like, is it a table of contents? Okay. <laughs> it's on page 54. Okay, so it says Archangel Jewels, who is a magnificent blue green color, is the divine feminine counterpart of Archangel Raquel. Interesting. <laughs> I don't know why I never thought of archangels, you know, having a counterpart, but that makes sense. Anyways, they work together to gather the light brought down through the earth star chakras um, of every creature on the planet. And the earth star chakra is under you. It's like, you know, in the ground, like, and it's, it's black. Um, um, they take it into hollow earth for the benefit of the planet and our universe. They also help the stellar gateway and earth star chakras to open simultaneously. Hmm, this is very interesting. <laughs> so Archangel Jewels is in charge of our oceans and his etheric retreat is in the center of the Bermuda Triangle. Oh snap. 
<laughs> um, where the great crystals of Atlantis lies. He works deep in the oceans, amongst other things. He governs the alignment of the tectonic plates, ensures they are lubricated, and directs the flow of Christ light in the waters. This is so interesting to me, y'all. They, they just taught me so much shit right now. Okay, so it says, choosing this card indicates that it's time for your life to flow. Ensure your 12th dimensional chakras are open and active. Um, ask Archangel Jewels to anchor them into the oceans, which are vast, a vast reservoir of Christ light and psychic energy. When you do this, the light of your higher self is added to the waters and you can draw up wisdom of the water into your physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual bodies. Then tune in to the Bermuda Triangle to access the great crystal of Atlantis. That sounds like a good title. <laughs> um, <clears throat> mentally connect with this and the sacred information and gifts that you need will come to you the moment you are ready for them. Simply hold the intention and it will happen. When your life flows, everything happens easily and fluidly. You move with the currents and are assisted on your journey. Do your part now and the universe will support you. I'm like, burr, burr, burr. that's fire. <laughs> um, so, Christine is on page 30. 30. Archangel Christine, okay, is the twin flame of Archangel Jophiel and carries the divine feminine light. <clears throat> Excuse me carries the divine feminine light of wisdom and loving compassion. Also, you're definitely, um, <laughs> you, you, your soul has spent time in, in Atlantis. <clears throat> my goodness, it's getting on my nerves. This beautiful golden archangel holds and radiates the Christ light. When your crown chakra becomes fifth dimensional, she places a ball of cosmic wisdom into it, infusing the thousand petals with light and attracting beautiful energies to you. Archangel Christine is helping those who are on the ascension path to proceed with wisdom and also to help, un help others onto their path. She shares a retreat with Archangel Jophiel, a glorious etheric golden temple over the mountains of Northern China. It sounds beautiful. <laughs> like, can I move in? <laughs> Together, they are beginning to release some of the wisdom held in the land in the East in order to help the planetary ascension. So they just putting us up on game right now. So, okay. Your guidance is to open up to Archangel Christine and allow her to fill you with Christ's light as well as wisdom. Know that from the moment you invoke her, um, she starts to pour unconditional love and golden wisdom into you. She helps you experience everyone and everything from an enlightened perspective. Take a moment to feel her energy flowing into your mind and then consciously beam the light you have received to others. I'm going to do that in just a second. Arch Archangel Christine calls on you to approach every person you meet today with wisdom and loving compassion. Notice how they respond to you. In addition, treat situations around you with sagacity um, to the exact extent that you exude wisdom and loving compassion. Archangel Christine will help you, your life to transform. So... You know, I was telling y'all, in order to summon a specific angel, you just say thank you. So thank you, Archangel Jules and Archangel Christine. Please come into this reading and give my collective, you know, all of the information that y'all wish to give them at this time. Gratitude, gratitude. It says, look for a cosmic gift and remember you deserve it. At the bottom of the deck, the Archangel Hope. So let's see what Archangel Jules and Archangel Christine got to say to y'all. Mm -hmm. 
Mahatma energy, build your light body and accelerate your ascension. So they're saying that they want you to call on them. Archangel Jules and Archangel Christine, like, I didn't know anything about them. I, you know what I'm saying? So chances are most people don't, but being open to them is being open to abundance, okay? It says, believe you deserve and accept plenty and prosperity. Um, it could be 29 or your birthday could be February 2nd or um, September 2nd. Did I say February 2nd? Okay. February 2nd or 9th, okay. Um, you can have an eight-year-old or a five-year-old child, but um, there, there's new opportunities coming to you, okay? You need to declutter your life and gl to glimpse a magical doorway. Like, you're not gonna see the way unless you make the way. So you have to declutter your life so you can be able to see. Like, it's a whole bunch of stuff in your way. <laughs> like, open your heart and love yourself. Dare to be vulnerable, okay? So people are out here acting like being vulnerable is, you know, some sort of like problem, like some sort of affliction, some sort of disease. But no, like we all should be a caring community. OK, we should be in this all together. Your birthday could be February 5th or May 2nd. We should be a caring community. We should be participating, you know, within our certain groups and you know that we belong within but we're all one okay yes <laughs> the stargate of lyra Ooh, i love that card it says expand your causal chakra and enter the unicorn kingdom so this is pretty much what they're saying this is these are the two angels of your earth star chakra and your cosmic chakras okay <laughs> they're asking you to open up you know what i'm saying clear out whatever's there that you don't need okay so you can start enjoying the freedom of your truth that you're living in gratitude let's see what else Oh my gosh. I don't know if you guys have heard this wrap up, these wrap up songs, but they be long. Here go this champion song again. I've been getting this a lot. You're a champion in their eyes. <laughs> like, the angels really want to guide us in the right direction right now because, you know, this time is crucial, okay? <clears throat> I mean, not to say it like it should be a heavy thing. Like it, like um, Archangel Jules said, you should be going with the flow. You know, embracing that oceanic essence, I suppose. All right. Thank you so much, Archangel Jules, Archangel Christine. What else? Yes. This hound dog. I, <clears throat> and I always look it up because first of all, I don't like to I don't like to misquote things. Like I don't like to give out the wrong information. So if I'm not sure about it, then I'm definitely gonna um look it up so y'all know what it means. Mm-hmm. But it should just pop up as soon as I type a G because uh mm mm. G R. Oh my God. Not a G. An H. <laughs> Ooh. My brain's still in a bed. <laughs> okay, so it says hounds are consistently associated with gods, goddesses, and heroes. Symbols of courage and loyalty. Hounds are offered as gifts to honorable men in ancient Celtic Ireland. Many chiefs and warriors adopted the name hound as a title to demonstrate okay so um it says second address is comprised of oracles anticipating the demise of god's enemies while offering encouragement to the persecuted so they're offering you guys some encouragement here through, uh, through the oracles which is us they are <laughs> 
gratitude. <laughs> they are introducing all of these ninja life hacks into our lives. You know what I mean? Like it's happening so smooth. And they're getting rid of all of this, all of these fake family. Like y'all have nothing to worry about. You don't have any predators. Like they just want you to feel like you do. Nobody can touch you. Okay. It says your story sad to tell in reverse. So yeah, you may have had a sad story to tell before, but now you have nothing, but you should be feeling joy. Celebrate, celebrate. Okay. <laughs> celebrate. Cause if you watching this, you're not getting, you didn't get left behind. Okay. <laughs> Mike, it says they have shattered everything. They shattered the old way. Okay, and now all you need to be worried about is expecting money. <laughs> and your enemies should just dread God. <laughs> Don't even worry about it. Look, if you do what they're asking you to do, you will be the it girl, the it guy. I should have left. I'm really honestly more drawn to the info that came from um, Archangel Jewel's section in the book. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna go back to it. So I can, I think it was on page 56. It was not. The Archangel Lavender is. <laughs> it's on page 54. So, let's see. What is it? What is it? Oh my gosh, I would love, so you could be from around the Bermuda Triangle. Y'all, I already got, I already got some people that's on the other side of the world or some people that's using the hell out of some VPNs, okay? <laughs> but, um, what am I looking for here? It says, um, Archangel Jewel, ask Archangel Jewels to anchor them to anchor you into the oceans, which are a vast reservoir of Christ light and psychic energy. So you could be like, thank you, Archangel Jewels. You know, please anchor me, my energy, my earth chakra into the oceans <laughs> so that you can start receiving all of this, this extra wisdom within you. Like, sounds like a great meditation to me, okay? Let me see, what else? What else? I heard, get the angel deck. Let me get the I Ching. Since Archangel Christine and Archangel Jophiel live over the mountains of China. So, um, this is the second I Ching, which is um, Kun. Let's see. Or, or Kun. The receptive is what it means. It brings about sublime, sublime success, furthering through the per perseverance of a mare. Mare is a female horse, okay, or an equine animal, but they both represent feminine energy, Archangel Jules and Archangel Christine. So I think that's very interesting. <laughs> the song saying, you're my best friend. We got true, well, we can party. Because true, you're my best friend. Where's my angel that guy? Hey. Hey, hey. Oh, it's right here. Pain goes away when I'm tipsy. Pain goes away when you're with me. Look at this. <laughs> it's just like right here. <laughs> Look at this one. <laughs> That's when journeys to the stars. <laughs> we spent the last three summers on the road. Spent the summer on the road. I don't understand what's going on here. But I just like got two decks in my hand. Okay. Is it true? True, you're so bad, we don't need to pretend, but I don't want to worry with you. How are my friends? So, make sure you're clear canceling or releasing anything that's not for you or doesn't have anything to do with you. Like, it's 
very important that we focus on the ease and grace, that we focus on light, that we focus on, you know, ascension, okay? And that we're not stressing it because everything happens in divine time, right? Okay? They're offering you, there's so much strength in the guidance that the angels and, you know, ancestors give us. And the best thing that we ever did was figured out like, oh, if we just heal our inner child, we'll be fine. <laughs> so um, some of you might still benefit from some inner child healing. Excuse me. And you could um, be at a lower place in your ascension, but that's fine. That's totally fine. You're on your own path. Yeah. See, you're going through constant transformation. So um, just try to get anchored into the earth. Make sure you're surrendering and going with the flow, like Archangel Jules said, okay? Archangel Christine is going to be bringing you signs. Let me go to her page, okay? Because she's the one that's on the front of the book. <laughs> but I forgot what page she was on. Oh, I found her. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So it says, take a moment to feel her energy flowing into your mind and then consciously beam the light. Okay. To be received by others or something like that. Yeah. Just reconsider the energies you're entertaining because it's it, it can lower your vibration. It can hold halt your progress. You know what I'm saying? It's important for you to remain in balance. Balancing your, your light and your dark. But whatever you do, baby, do not stop. Don't stop. You're on the right path. If you're here on my channel, you're going the right way, okay? And your health is improving in a crazy way. <laughs> like, we're going through all of these DNA activations and all of these things. Like, but you will have success. Like, don't trip. It's so easy. I mean, it's hard, but it's easy. It becomes easier, I should say. But if you have any any issues, any problems, they're like, please ask us. <laughs> That's why I hear it. They're like, just ask your angels. Like, I ask my angels everything. Like, do they have good intentions? Should I go on the state? I have a pen. I got pendulums like crazy. <laughs> this pendulum too. I use it all the time. Okay, spirit, show me yes. All right, spirit, show me no. No. So this is messages straight from Archangel Jules and Archangel Christy right now, right? That's yes, y'all, you see? So I'd be asking them everything. You might have a pendulum. Um, they're asking you to use it more because it actually works. <laughs> and people are like, like when I first started using pendulums, people were like, that's stupid. They don't, those don't work. You control your pendulum. <laughs> Duh, bitch. You're supposed to be using your intuition. <laughs> you are supposed to be leading yourself. And sometimes people don't listen to their intuition because they don't try, quite trust it yet. You know, and so if you can't trust, you know, what's coming from inside of you, coming out through the pendulum, if you don't trust the answer, then you don't trust yourself, period. You know, yeah, no, that's it, guys. I really enjoyed that reading. That was good. Okay. <laughs> and um, I'll see you later.